Albedo is a deck building game about space exploration with simultaneous play for two to four players or more if you have multiple boxes. You'll start by sorting your cards based on these symbols here. And you have five decks that will make up your market and you'll shuffle each of those decks and you'll also have these starter cards here. So each player will be given an ace pilot, five fighters and free inventory. Each player will also need a number one card and a number two card. You will then place your final planet on the table face down. You will take the rest of the planet cards which have this back here. You'll shuffle them up and then you'll place 13 of them on top of the final planet card. You're then ready to begin the game. The game will last seven rounds and the format of a round is that you reveal two planets and these are the planets that you're now contesting over. You'll then each draw six cards from your deck. If your deck runs out you shuffle your discards and that becomes your deck to draw from. You take the one and two cards. This will be your number one planet. This will be your number two planet as it's further away. Each player will then look at their hand of cards and decide which cards are going to which planet. And you'll represent this by then putting them under the respective number card. Why do you send each of these? Well, your units have two different values on and these determine what you get to raid on the planet. So first we have your air strength, then we have your ground strength. And some cards are actually switchable so that you can change what their values are depending on which way up you put the card. Now what these values represent is your air power will determine who gets to attack the planet first. So if I had said I was going to planet one then we'd be revealing our cards at the same time we'd then total up I have three, two, two, I have seven air power so I've got a lot of air power. But then my other player here had played these cards. So they only have five air power. That means I get to pick first where I'm landing on this planet, where I'm going to attack. And this is where your ground strength comes in. Now, I only had two ground strength. So I can't do an actual lot with that because you need enough to trigger the things. So one person can go to the top of the card here, which is scoring points. And if they have four power, they can get four points. If they've got three power, they can get three points. If they have seven power, they could get both. And that's represented by these numbers here. And you'll take these into your scoring zone and turn it the appropriate way for the number of points you've got. The other places you can land is in the main planet itself and any number of players can land here and then you can pick to purchase these things here. Now these are the symbols for the decks or they're this symbol here which means that you're able to colonize the planet. Colonizing a planet means that you'll give up one of the units you use to attack. You still get to count for this attack but it's going to go away out of your deck and it will be worth one point at the end of the game. So this allows you to clear out your deck, but also score points, but not very many. So that's the only option I would have with two combat strength here. If I had four, I could do it twice. And also if I had three, I could buy a card with this symbol, which would just mean that I would add the card with that symbol to my discard pile. So that could be one of these, for example, an aerospace fighter. But I didn't have enough for that. The other option is to go at the bottom here and again there is a different option to gain a card. Generally the higher the value the better the card will be. And in this case I could have got a destroyer which is quite a powerful card. So we resolved the first person landing there then the next player would get to land there and they had only two strength as well. So if we both went there they could still go there. And then once all players have resolved this card and it's gone to whoever's scored it, 
We then move on to doing the number two card and we all reveal what we had under number two and we perform exactly the same function. Now, any planets that are not taken as scorecards because no one scored them that round are simply discarded. Then everyone discards all the cards that they've used and we start a new round and we keep doing this until the planets run out, which will be seven rounds. At that point, whoever has the most points will win and the points will just be a total of their planet values and any cards that they've colonised onto planets. 